Uh, next is from Hughie. Subject is more. Okay, YouTube. wait a minute. Oh, this is an interesting one because it's talking about. <laughs> I, actually, I'm going to give Hughie a little bit of credit on this one. Okay. All right. And the subject is more YouTube acts success success despite. As of September 11th, which in my opinion was a national tragedy, the K100 YouTube channel has now officially passed 31 million views. Wow, that's a lot. Even with the dumb <laughs> Brian Dunlop on the scene, <laughs> replacing Juan Ooh, Una. Wait a minute. Wait Brian a minute. Dunlop, the guy from the thing before that thought that Willow Utah should be the world champion, okay? So, okay. <laughs> replacing Juan Unda as the new annoying dumb mark that won't <laughs> off, the K100 YouTube is doing great. All thanks to Cody, Tony Khan's poor handling of AEW and Disco's fascinating conversation about tennis. By the way, Husey does not like tennis, by the way. Uh, oh, God, here we go. He's going to get sued. Actually, wait a second. Why are we reading his email? He's supposed to get – has it been two weeks? Yeah. I thought we – okay, two weeks. Okay, P.S. What do you guys think about thigh slapping? P.S. Get My Go is coming back. P.S. What does I want Unda think about thigh slapping? And P.S. Conan's crazy Christmas special coming soon. So that's another week's suspension for Husey. So there you we'll go. You won't be, be on the Christmas special. Yeah. And – to all those things that you brought up, which weren't funny and repetitive, and you do it all the time, and it's a reason why you're getting suspended. <laughs> Next now, I, heard, hang on, Disco, I have a report for you, and it's from a uh, former friend of the show, Juan Unda. He, he wanted you to know that uh, due to his association, uh, apparently with you and K100, he was labeled a Disco Stooge in a Tony Khan uh, Patreon call and was uh, then not allowed to ask any more questions or be on the call. So, <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah. How did he get in a Tony Khan Patreon call? Tony Schiavone. Did I say Khan? Tony Schiavone. Oh, Tony Schiavone Patreon call. Yeah. Really? Tony booted him. Bro, he, do you know that ad, ad, the, the official Do they listen ad, to our show that closely? Conan, Conan get, get a little of this. Okay, this is how sensitive that company is, right? Because all we do is watch the, their show and we review it. Uh, you know, <laughs> I just give my opinions, right? Bro, a at AEW their official Twitter account they it blocks me. Wow, <laughs> I mean, bro, you well, why would that surprise you? You have heat uh, with well, them. Why? Because you talked bad about Brody King or or not not bad, oh, but you all I said about Brody back. Lee was that I thought it was improper that Bruce Pritchard is a journalist should have been excommunicated Bruce from Pritchard. from the internet. Bruce Mitchell, Bruce Pritchard, the journalist got excommunicated from the society for for questioning. Whether or not during a pandemic, Brody Lee th th had a lung issue that he died from, but they had to say wasn't why it's it was un was asking that question, which was was improper. That's a, that's all. That's all my only take on that was. You know, I, th I thought it you was. You must ridiculous. have said something else, and you must have said something about Tony, because the word I got there from over there from very credible sources. You know, Tony doesn't like you talking about him personally, and he doesn't appreciate. Uh, the Brody Lee comments. Someone actually, right, I saw this Rumble. could this could have to do. Well, it's just another thing on the pile. But I've seen people complain on Twitter and YouTube. Bro, let me tell you. Yeah, let me tell you something, Joe. Hmm. If you guys were to able to read Spanish, the hate and shade that I get, Tony. If somebody's li if somebody's sending this to you or you're listening to the show, I know you don't give a, f but. If you would have able have one of your Spanish announcers, Abram Abrahantes or Tasha's, what's who's the Tasha? assistant? Jose, Jose the assistant. Jose the assistant. Ask them how much hate, vile, venom, and just ornery comments I get. If I were to get mad at everybody that talks bad about me, I'd never be on social media. There's just no way everybody's gonna like you. Yeah. Right. Ray Mysterio is as nice a guy as they come. He's nice like you. And people bury him and I get mad. I'm like, bro, do you understand that this is like the coolest, nicest X Pac is the same way, you know, oh what a drug yeah. addict, what this, what that. Okay, we get it, dude. He had a drug problem. You don't gotta keep bringing it up oh we did this with china all right we get it that happened 20 years ago let look it look in go. the mirror before you judge somebody right. else look in the yeah. mirror judge that but, person in the mirror first before you decide to pass judgment on everybody else that you that you think is right is, 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 i get right. buried all the time and here's another difference between me and I, I have no problems going publicly and saying the show sucked yeah bro you get so much more credibility every show can't be good every match can't be good every wrestler can't be good every idea you have can't be good and you have to be able to take the good with the f bad right next yeah. is from I was gonna, uh, real, quick, real quick yeah i was gonna say i think 
add into the pile of the reasons the AW social media might block you or people might be upset with you is I've seen a lot of people on Twitter and YouTube lately saying, well, Disco said Moxley showed up to work drunk and he should apologize. And I was thinking, Disco never said that. Disco never said that. He said, oh, no, I get to, bro, tons of people lie about they, they Yeah, know. that's another yeah, thing. I, they lie about you got the haters I've never said that. that lie. And then the thing is, for example, if, you're, if, you're, if you don't listen to the show, and you don't read our comments on wherever you say they're at, Sports Keyed or whatever. Yeah. And you just hear it from another person who doesn't like you. You're you're easily manipulated to think yeah. that, you know. And plus, too, I, this is for all my haters out there. Okay, guys, you do you realize? Look on my my Twitter. Okay, I don't block people, so you're not getting under my skin. It's like you know because like it obviously doesn't bother like everything's like oh jobber this uh, it doesn't bother me okay because I, I'm not blocking it I, I read right. so it doesn't I'm not phased maybe that's another reason people don't like and me because just I don't, so you I don't know, sell for them you know I yeah. don't block anybody un- unless they become very annoying or start making moronic statements I don't have to read that so I okay. will block you this is an interesting qu- one here Kevin Gilroy subject is Benoit versus Raven. Question for Disco and Conan and Joe if they and Conan and Joe if they know more about this. Disco, are the YouTube clips where you're talking about in K Fabe pointless rematches, and you spoke about how Raven didn't want to keep a storyline going with Benoit, and then you said they didn't like each other. Is there more to that story? What made them fall out? How hot did the heat get? And which side were you on? Did I annoy any of you when I said uh, hot did the hot did the heat? Um, I don't know what he meant. Hot did the heat? What is yeah, well, where he said yeah, how hot annoying. did how hot did the heat get? Oh, hot to the heat, okay. Um, well, number one, Raven used to get used to blow up in the matches. He didn't do cardio and stuff or anything. And I don't, I don't think you know Benoit was a a workout freak. You know, Raven wasn't. You know, and Raven was doing a lot of pills and stuff and everything. You know, back then and stuff. He'd, he'd, and he'd show up at the show sometimes, and like you know, they they did the spot where they'd sit in the crowd with the flock, and Raven would be all pilled up in the crowd. And like Benoit, didn't, you know, they. they Bro, Benoit is a technical wrestler from the the, the Stu Hart dungeon. Raven was like a party animal, playboy guy. I like this stuff. For, you know, just, just just like they, they were just completely different birds of a feather. And you know, the Raven liked wanted. Raven was always politicking to go to go, and, and you know to go over. You know, Raven would always politic for to try to get over more stuff for thing. You know, stuff. And Benoit wasn't much of a politicker. But Ben Benoit wanted to go, you know, he wanted to get pushed too. And like when uh, they worked I with w- each other, it was I, always I would, very I, physical, you know? So they, they just did not get along when working with each other, you know? I would say in that statement, he wasn't much of a politicker. He wasn't a politicker. Mm. Right, right. Actually, did Joe do that? Ask that question, that same question, to, to when you do the Ravens thing, and ask him what, what, what his issue was with, with Benoit. Yeah. Okay? Well, then, see uh, see, what, that, see you know, what he says, because that. As, and we'll play it here. As far as um, you know, Raven being an out out in the open partier, right? Wasn't Benoit like a behind closed door kind of partier? Because he always presented an image like I don't no, drink. We all, I don't. we all drank after yeah. the shows. Every yeah. nobody like there was. All, I think Lance Storm was like the only guy that wasn't like a drinker. Yeah, but when you're, you're partying know, so. and you're not working out and you're not even doing cardio, that's a whole different thing. Because yeah, Ra- Raven would get like in the ring sometimes. He'd be like. <gasps> Yeah, you, what you Yeah. At one point he got overweight too. Yeah. Yeah. So Benoit, even though he partied, he worked out, dude. Yeah. You know, he watched his diet. Yeah. You know, Raven didn't watch his diet. He didn't work out. You know, he was still one of the best characters we had. I mean, Raven yeah. was a he was great still character. over and he still his matches yeah. were still fine. He right. would just get cut, blown up like you'll be like you know, like I just described. Right. He could, you know? so, and yeah. he he could always cut a great promo. Some of them right. were unintelligible, but he always cut a great promo. You right. know, it was a good listen, and I'll, I'll send it to you guys. I know Disco, especially you listen to stuff. With Raven went on with Jake and DDP on their show, and was not right. not you know not like his podcast where he just goofs off. Like they actually talked wrestling and stuff that Raven doesn't really like to do, but he. Chopped it up with them, of course. Oh, Raven's right, because brilliant. I, I, really yeah, good. Raven's Raven, brilliant with yeah. if Raven, yeah. if Raven is around people that he respects and have a brilliant mind for the business, he probably has no problem talking yeah. about wrestling. Yeah, it was right. very good. I'll, I'll say. So, <laughs> so, so, but he does a podcast with you, Joe. Did you see what the COVID told you? Yeah, right. No <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> <laughs>